Hey guys, Rhymes with Pavement here. Crumbling is probably one of my favourite albums ever released. It was released in 2018 on Bandcamp by a South Korean multi-instrumentalist simply known as Mr. Midair Thief. A year later, in 2019, Top Shelf Records released the album In the West on vinyl, CD and cassette. Even in its own tongue, the album has a mystical, sublime quality to it that no other record that I know of matches. <sighs> the album starts off with the track, Why? It begs the question, Why? After an unpredulated up- synth loops for a few seconds, we hear some comforting vocals and some guitar nodding. The two vocals begin noodling. Pardon me. The two vocals begin to harmonise and then some clarity is given to the guitar track and some drum pops in. As the tension of the track begins to build, it finally releases suddenly and breaks down into more electronic instrumentation. This intro is fantastic! It perfectly describes what the album is like and how great track structure plays out. Each track will often build up and release in a chaotic bliss that only Mr. Midair Thief is really able to create. There's not any typical structure to any of his songs, and the album is mostly rises and falling with no pattern. As a Korean speaker, it is easy to find the lyrics to each song with a one-to-one accuracy, although it seems as the lyrics are just as mysterious in Korean, they are also, to a Western listener, in Ah These Chains, the lyrics refer to tangled chains that hover above the shadows and slowly tighten as they gain speed. They have a poetic mystery to them. The song is most likely about entrapment and feeling hopeless against the things entrapping you. The ambiguity of the lyrics permeates the album in what feels like a stream of consciousness from a being in a different plane of existence. That's very vibe feed. Other than the mystery around the album, there are also, for me at least, many nostalgic and pre feelings evoked from each song. The comforting waves and quiet whispering at the end of Crumbling Together evoke a warmth that elevates these feelings of a nostalgia, while the very loud breakdowns of Why, Protector and Ah, these chains evoke more sublime, <laughs> true grandiose feelings. One of the best parts about the album is that every single second is concise and to the point. Just like my review. And it all feels encoded with some emotional meaning. Another thing that makes this album an utter masterpiece are the glitchy sounds and ambience that fill every moment and prevent any monotony. It's far from a glitch pop. No squeak trip or corner to be found. But it still is enough to utterly beautiful. <laughs> the record is recorded. Ever heard of Analog 4 track? Well, that's what they used. Which gives the, the light fuzzy lo fi sound. I am boy, I am sucker. What? Sorry. <laughs> boy, am I a sucker for that. <laughs> I'm a sucker. We're done right. Lo-fi can elevate anything into utter nostalgic bliss and when paired with an insanely masterful strong lighting Mr. Midair Thief Pardon me This stuff is on another level Overall, crumbling is an essential listen for the folktronica and Korean indie style Fads I put especially public morality in his new song Western Song under the name Shadow Community for other albums similar to Crumbling, I recommend The Lemon of Pink by The Books, Sleep Cycle by Deakin, Feels by Animal Collective, and Up in Flames by Matanoba, also known as Karibu. <laughs>